Ready. Icy Manipulator, the Jolly Balloon Man. That's me. Um, hmm. Well, this is some creature removal. What else we got? I got a cheapo sack outlet. Couple lands and a command tower. I think I gotta keep this, even though it's not it's not a real pretty hand, but you know. Gotta go with what you got. I gotta look what his commander is. Uh Anim Pakal, the thousandth moon. I don't even know what the heck that is. Anim Pakal. Show me that card. Oh, sorry, he's waiting on me. Heh, <laughs> my bad. Uh I'll no, I want to get some ping and damage on him, so we'll throw this out. Start hitting him. And in Pakal, legendary human soldier, when you attack with one more non-gnome creatures, put a plus one, plus one counter on this, then create X, plus one, plus one gnome creature tokens tapped and attacking. X is number of counters on him. That could ramp up and be nasty. I could be real nasty. Okay, so I can't play anything turn two, so I'll put the tap land out. We will attack him. Get some cheap damage in. I don't have a three cast. That's not ideal. I like to have a three cast to pop out their turn uh turn three, but whatever. Oh, I can do a Temple Bell. I guess that's something. Uh, I don't want to put my Balloon Man out too early. I like to use them same turn that I pop them. Uh, so what we're going to do is... We'll do a Temple Bell. We'll get some mana fixing. So I will put a Plains. And then we'll top deck that. Into my hand. Do I want to trade? What is this? When he enters, gain one life. What do I get? Uh, I'll trade. If you want to trade, let's trade. Oops, I didn't confirm my attack. My bad. Sorry, guy. Okay. Taking the damage, I guess. Here you go. Ubrask Forge. What does that do? I've not seen that before. Beginning of your comment, your turn. Put oh the oil counter thing. I never really liked the look of that. Maybe I'm not understanding the usage of it. I thought about it and I was like, that looks way too complex. I guess with the right deck it could work. Okay, so he's spewing out a token with trample. That's a one-one. I don't care. You can hit me. My turn. Oh, look, I got my Carnosaur. He's my big bad. Big bad beater card. Okay, so we'll put the planes out. Um, We'll save that. I'm not going to discard that. I'm going to pop the Balloon Man out. Because I can start using him. I'm going to use him to copy this. Um, I'll attack with both. Not the best, but not the best thing to copy. Unless you have mana. If you have mana, you can sack him and put the enchantment on him. Or the uh, artifact on him, but whatever. Oh, he's starting to ramp. Command tower. Well, 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 well. What's this 3 4 do? Uh, during your turn, opponents can't cast spells or activates. I don't like that one bit. It's not powerful enough, though. Let me think here. Can't do much about that yet. I'm thinking, guy. Well, 
plague or do I want the terror of the peaks? I think I want. I think I'm going to put Terror of the Peaks out. I need one more mana. Just one more mana. Give me one more. Come on. Just one more. Yeah, I know, you're making tokens. Mm, he's tapped out, so he... Let me make sure he can't do any effects before the turn of blocking. So he's got no tap effects. What does this do, specifically? That's a beginning combat. I'm going to block... Yeah, that, but that attack didn't make a lot of sense. Okay, now is where it gets nasty. So we're in Manifest Dread. Choose any target. Uh, I'll blow away his flyer. Fucking Citadel can be a 2 2. I'll hit that. I'm going to blow his board up right here because I'm going to copy the twin again. Which should manifest dread yet again. <laughs> this is where it gets real nasty. Uh, we're going to make friendly ghost a 2-2. Two -two. We're going to hit that again. And... Attack, attack. Boom, boom. Pretty good turn. That dragon is like fireball pinger. Made for balloon man shenanigans. And he's got no idea what's coming. As soon as I get one more mana, Carnosaur is coming in. Oh, he's got his guy out. And he's going to die this turn. You can do whatever you want. You're still going to get killed. Yeah, you go ahead. I don't even care. Four, five. Yeah, I'll block that. Doesn't have trample. He's ramping. He's ramping hard. <laughs> He's trying to ramp. Uh, let's see here. Okay, I'll chump block that with that. Uh, I don't really care about the rest, so I'll eat the rest. Bummer. Um, okay, well, let's do some shenanigans. Manifest Dread. Terror of the Peaks is going to shoot this. And we're going to make the Signet A2-2. And he's going to blast that again. Say bye-bye to your commander. Say bye bye to your commander. Okay, so we're going to drop this in. Um, is there a flip up here? Friendly ghost. Oh, I can flip that up and ping for more. Let's do that because that's just fun. Flip them up. Whoop! Friendly ghost. I didn't get the enter effect. That's a bummer. But so what? I can copy Friendly Ghost next turn, and that gets fun. Um, let's attack with all. He's really got nothing. Nothing going here. Except for that one. I want to keep him. Okay, he's not too happy. I'm going to activate this ability. 
Uh, I'm gonna balance my mana a bit, get a planes. There we go. So next turn, big boy's coming out. Well, if he doesn't do something, he's dead. I can do damage to any target, so I can even ping him with my Terror of the Peaks. If I get any creature that makes other creatures, he's freaking dead. Actually, he's dead no matter what. Unless he counters uh, Trumpeting Carnosaur, I will just hammer him with Terror of the Peaks and he's dead. So, all this crap that he's doing, unless he can kill me this turn, doesn't matter. So, in which case, I will block the 12-12, and I'll eat the rest. Don't care. So, we'll give him a good game. Trumpeting Carnosaur comes out. Boom. Kablooey, and this blows your face up. And what the hell, I'll cast this too, just for shits and gigs. Okay, he quit. <laughs> well, not really quit. I mean, he was dead, so good game.